YouTube fans, welcome to <clears throat> Art for the Heart Paint Show Series 2. <laughs> hey, I have another, <clears throat> I have another beautiful painting to show to y'all. But first, I want to show you something else I use on Art for the Heart Paint Show. Now, <clears throat> when I'm getting ready to uh, do an art video, I put lotion on my hands. And I'm going to demonstrate. The reason being, when I put lotion on my hands, is to because if you paint in oils, <clears throat> and you get oil paint on your hands, what's going to happen is that when you get ready to wash your hands, the oil paint will be very hard to get off of your hands. Now, take take this hand, and just start, start to massage it on top and on the bottom around your fingers. Uh, plus two, it smells good. It smells really, real good. And then you're ready to paint. Now, <clears throat> let me show you this painting. I'm going to show you the brushes and the paints I use to paint this painting with. Enjoy this video and read at the end of the video. <clears throat> Aha! <laughs> Alright, now, the name of this painting is Summertime at the Falls. That's right, Summertime at the Falls. It's pretty, huh? Got the trees, yeah. Now, they the trees where they came up with a small filbert brush, a very small filbert brush. And the mountains were done with a Filled with brushes, well, with a little bit of paint me on. Now, what you don't want to do <clears throat> is you don't want to add, you don't want to add too much paint me on onto your brush because if you add too much, what's going to happen is this is a how-to video. What's going to happen is you add too much paint me on. It's it's going to run and become soupy and then next thing you know you're going to be making mud so you don't want to put too much paint medium onto your canvas just a little bit and uh, let me show you how to load a brush okay this is ivory black and so you want to tap i tap, usually just tap my brush like this Camera. Okay. Let's use very small. Uh, you don't. Uh, we even with a script line brush, you don't want to use too much paint. Okay, just very little. Uh, wash this brush out. Now I'll wash my brushes out with oldest paint thinner. Uh, one thing I do not use is I don't use turpentine. Uh, because turpentine smells bad too. Oof, man. That's the, oh. And turpentine really smells. So I stay away from turpentine. Uh, another brush I used, uh, I always should, I always should use this knife when I did this painting, this mixed painting with. And let's see, I used another brush. Oh, I use this brush too. This is a size 4 fan brush. And I did it to blend out the mountains with. So, so this is a... Uh, oh, it's also soft. <laughs> Bristles are uh, soft. But, uh, I, I, I like fan brushes. They so neat. And I used a number 2 fan brush. Now, this is a very small fan brush. It's a number two uh, fan brush. And it's, and it's excellent for doing evergreen trees. You just, you know, just load up your, your uh, let me do an evergreen tree for you. Not that hard to do. <clears throat> okay. I, ta uh, I load up my fan brush like this. And I kind of pull, I kind of do it like that. And get enough paint on both sides of the fan brush. That. And then if you want to do an evergreen tree, it's not that hard. I'm, I'm going to demonstrate and show you how, how to do one. You need very little paint. 
pink mia. Just a little bit. Okay, a little small one. Yeah, I'll put a small one next to this tree. Start with a line. Like that, no more. And do a little bit more Van Dyke, or well, Ivy Black, and Lizard Grinch Red. Okay, I'm gonna make that a little bit darker where you can see it on camera what I'm doing. Okay, oh, yeah. And then you go from side to side, like this. Go from side to side. When your brush starts running out of paint, just Turn it over and use the other side. <clears throat> See? It's not that hard to make an evergreen tree. Just takes a little, bit, a little bit of time and a little bit of practice, but you will get it. You, you will, you'll know how to do an evergreen tree. <clears throat> Wash that brush out. And usually, I would wipe my brushes on paper towels. And that's to get the excess paint out of your brush. Because if you don't get that excess paint out of one of these brushes, you're going to have a stiff brush. But see, that, that's not hard to make an evergreen tree. Okay. And the other brush I used was a strip liner brush. Very small strip line brush. Okay. All right. So, uh, oh, the paints I used. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the paints I used on Heart from the Heart Paint Show. Yeah. There's these. Okay. And these are professional oil paints. Those are professional oil paints. <clears throat> well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun doing this video. And, uh, hey, leave me some comments. And, uh, <clears throat> also join up, uh, join Art for the Heart Marks Fan Club. It's free. Just comment me and say, hey, I joined the fan club. Alright, bye.